Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Lavia Kaup here. I'm going to be directing the top seven incredible places in Norway you won't believe exist. Alright, it's kind of an extreme title, but uh, let's, let's see. I don't believe it exists. I don't believe it. That actually looks kind of cool. Wait, let's check it out. Is it like a river and ocean connecting, or what is this? Is this is like a place that's not very deep, or is really deep. What? That water looks just so cool. Really amazing photography. Photography, filmography. Gorgeous. Norway is one of the most unique, incredible, rugged countries in the whole world. I'm home in New York making this video about my favorite places in Norway, and it starts raining. There New York sucks. Just kidding, but I don't really like it anyway. Rain is actually very fitting for making a video on Norway because Norway is one of the wettest countries in the whole world. I'm Eric Connor. What? This is a video I didn't know that. Journal of my travels and life here in New York. Recently, I just got back from a week-long trip to Norway with Paul and Sharp. They're an Italian clothing company, and I was filming a campaign testing out their 777 jacket. Over seven days and seven activities in Norway. In this video, I made a list of the most incredible locations in Norway that I saw while testing out this jacket. Before I get started into this video, if you like it, make sure to cool. give it a thumbs up. Share this video. You okay. can be notified whenever I share new travel content on my channel. Without cool. further ado, the theme. Let's get past the boring stuff. The first location is the Nygards Breen Glacier. Is he pronouncing that right? This glacier lies about 19 miles north of the village Glop. The Nygard Spring Glacier is actually an arm of the largest glacier in continental Europe. Looks like it's melting. Like I mean, you know, say glaciers around the world are melting, but this one looks like it's almost gone. Like that's that, that doesn't look like a big glacier. Called the Jostels Green Glacier. To get to the glacier, a small boat will transport you to the base. You'll cross the palest, most turquoise blue glacier water you have ever seen in your whole life. From the forest to the base of the glacier, you have about a 30 minute hike. What? Once you get it doesn't to the look like a 30 minute hike, it looks like a 3 minute hike. the base of the glacier, you are kitted out with crampons, an ice pick, and a harness. It is impossible to climb ice without crampons, and they actually come with the guide, and I'll have all that info. Crazy story, I knew a guy that uh, fell ice climbing onto his jaw and it got all busted and then the, the, the instructor like fled the country so he wouldn't get sued and information down below. go to jail. Once you start climbing, it's about eight hours in total from the top to the bottom. This glacier hike was one of, if not the most defining travel experience I've had in my whole life. It's one thing to see it, but to actually hear the pieces of ice, the size of buildings moving and breaking, and it felt like a living thing, this massive, massive living thing. Seems a little dangerous to, uh... Couldn't they kind of crack apart at any moment? You send you flying? That color is so dope, though. This glacier, you have to act fast because in a matter of a few short years, this glacier won't even be here. Where was it before? How much farther out? Two thousand one, uh, all the way to the hanging bridges. Like how? How much longer will this be here for? Twenty years. Twenty yeah, years. This is Yeah, you heard that. Twenty years. And the fact that these aren't going to be around in twenty years, you know, when I'm a middle-aged guy, this might not. <laughs> The next location is Langfossen Falls, which translates to Long Waterfall. This waterfall is less of an activity and more of just an attraction. I mean, you're driving down the highway, out of nowhere you hear this noise, this rumbling noise, then you see the mist. You turn the corner and you see the largest, most menacing 
waterfall on earth. This waterfall is over 2,000 feet high. The oh. The tallest, I guess? World Waterfall Database declared this waterfall to be one of the best in the world. That's got to tell you something. I drove past this waterfall on my way to Voss where I did some white water. I think, uh... Now I'm forgetting the name. There's a giant waterfall in America. I'm forgetting the name of it. Mm, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But I think it's bigger. Anyway, it's in New York. On the border of Canada. It looks bigger, wider, at least. Anyway. Water river kayaking. Langfossen is the perfect place if you're on a long road trip in Norway to just pull over to Niagara Falls. The side of the road, have some food, enjoy the beauty, and just kind of take it in because it is quite the sight. The next location, pause the video, try to pronounce this word. Yeah. No. This very, very long Norwegian word translates to Atlantic Ocean Road. Now, it is known as the world's most dangerous road. That looks so cool. Wow. It's very, very cool. Just because during the winter time, there's very strong storms that go through this area. When I did this drive, it was actually a beautiful sunny day, so I didn't get to experience it in the storm, in the craziness, but still, I could imagine it. It could be pretty menacing in a storm. It is eight total bridges long and 8,274 meters. And this is the biggest tip of this video. If you are going to Norway, you make videos and you make photos, invest in a drone. Hmm. The drone is the only way to really, really see this country. Please don't sell me drone products now. Which brings us to our next location. in the mountains of western Norway lies Trollstiger Road. Trollstigen translates directly to Troll's Ladder. Trollstigen is a visual feast. I have never seen a place- Wow. Wow. Looks like Lord of the Rings. That was so- one, it made your stomach drop. About to bike down the steepest bike course in the whole world. This is one of those life moments where you feel so alive, but at the same time, you're like, should I be doing this? Oh, straight down, are you ready to go? No, no. Just because of how steep no, the no, road no, is, no. if you're going down that road on a bike and you're at the edge and no. you make a wrong turn, you're going over the edge and you're falling thousands of feet down no. to the ground. It is a straight cliff drop down to the valley. This road is the hardest and highest bike climb in the entire world. 12.2 kilometers of this ride is at a grueling 7%. That's a really cool shot too. That really looks like Lord of the Rings. Incline. The view from the top is just, you can't even put it into words how breathtaking and just vast this view is off into the distance. I bike down. The bike, let me just tell you, the, the bike... Get this! There were certain points where I hit 60 kilometers per hour. I cannot highly recommend enough going to this place. It is breathtaking in every aspect of the word. Literally, it will take your breath away, especially if you're biking up it or you're biking down. Troll Seager Road is a must if you're going to northwestern Norway. You have to see this place. Oh. Going up on a bike is the most next place on our list. I have never seen anything like this. It is something out of a novel or a film. What I'm about to show you will blow your mind. The next location and probably the most interesting place on this list is the world's strongest whirlpool. I think I was right. The Located in the Nordland. This is the strongest river with the ocean. Tidal current in the entire 
world. These whirlpools were so large that they could swallow boats. If we were to get close enough to the whirlpool, you could actually feel it dragging the boat into it. Up to 400 million tons of seawater forced their way through a three kilometer long and only 150 meter wide strait every six hours with the tides. Water speeds reached 37 oh, kilometers per hour. <laughs> at the peak of the whirlpools. But no, really, I've never seen currents this fast. And there's actually whirlpools. Like, when you flush a toilet, that's what we have, except times a thousand. So let's go. And no poop. The whirlpools themselves are huge. Some can be up to 10 meters in diameter and reach five meters deep in the heart of the vortex. Five meters deep. I wouldn't go near that. Now, on the day that I was there, they were not nearly that big, but I couldn't even imagine seeing a whirlpool that big and that powerful because they do get that big. When I was first going to it, I was pretty skeptical that it was kind of, you know, it was a hoax. It was, it was folklore. It was mm. built up over time, but it's the real deal. To get to the whirlpool, you leave from the town of Buddha. You suit up in a full-on survival suit. And when we were on the dock, I was kind of thinking to myself and wondering, why are we suiting up in survival suits for the Arctic? Like, these suits are no joke. The heavy gear survival, you're out there in the middle of the ocean waiting for something to get you suit. From the town, it's about a 20-minute boat ride through some of the most beautiful landscapes of mountains that are for two minutes, and when they finally resurfaced, they were a half a mile down the river. That's how powerful... Rounding out the list of incredible things and places in Norway is the midnight sun. The strangest thing was watching the sun go down and having it just hover right above the horizon. It would set at about midnight, just kind of hang there, and then it would start to rise at 1 a.m. The midnight sun <laughs> is a natural phenomenon that occurs in the summer months in places north of the Arctic Circle, but actually... Yeah, I kind of saw that in Iceland. Actually, the midnight sun can occur almost 50 miles away from the circle, but not quite as high. Your body clock is so thrown light out. It's the strangest, just most bizarre thing. It's very It's cool. I like that a lot. It's cool. Very hard to sleep in Norway in the past two days just because it doesn't get dark. It's always light out. I mean, look at 2, maybe 145. Real strange, but kind of cool. And there you have it. That is my list. Of nice. It's actually a great list. Um, I, I do believe they exist, though. <laughs> But uh, anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Love you. Have a good one. And if you would like and comment, subscribe. But if not, that's cool. And this. Take care.